Let me put up on the screen again the WikiLeaks re uh, revelation specific to the Clinton server. They knew. They knew from the beginning. Now, here's my theory. I think they used Uma Abedin and Anthony Weiner as an opportunity because the FBI, the Justice Department, the State Department, and the White House are scared to death because all of them colluded individually with the Clinton campaign and gave them all a heads up, and they all protected the president who was emailing on that very server and lied to the American people. True or false? Looks that way. Looks that way. Now, with reaction, the chief counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice, Jay Sekulow, Fox News contributor Doug Schoen, the host of Justice with Judge Janine, Judge Janine Pirro. Uh, Judge, you got a lot to say on this. You're... Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Well, I'll tell you. I can't believe for one minute, Sean, that this is about something they found in the investigation of this pedophile mm -hmm. uh, Uma Abedin's husband. I think it's deeper than this. I think there's more than this that's involved because for Jim Comey to come out in 11 days before a presidential election and understand that it's got to be big. It's got to be big. Now, big in the sense that they could arrest her, they could indict her, they could send her to jail. They already had that. But the FBI has already destroyed evidence. They've given everyone immunity. They basically said, oh, forget about it. It's no big deal. They had her by the short the hairs and they let her go. The answer is the FBI. So why now? Well, why is it because of WikiLeaks? By the way, I misspoke. Eight-way pundit had reported uh, via Russia Today, a reporter in London, that uh, Julian Assange would release emails that could prove to get enough evidence to get her arrested. WikiLeaks is watching. Yeah. They actually called and told us, no, that was from There's some time more. ago, and that's not true. So I apologize. Want to make sure we get everything right. Uh, Jay Sekulow, from the legal yep. side, you and I have discussed yep. at length, in detail, the crimes that we know were committed here. Yep. We were both shocked at what James Comey did. Why is he reopening it? Is it in part because of WikiLeaks? And are they not telling us, are they using the Uma Abedin Wiener emails to obfuscate what is an opportunity? They've been shown up by WikiLeaks in a lot of ways and probably fear that they may be embarrassed further. Well, I said from the beginning that the investigation by the FBI and the Hillary Clinton email scandal was a faux investigation, a fake investigation. Obviously, that's the case because whether it's WikiLeaks, which it well could be, or whether it's information from Huma Abedin, ask yourself this question. How did the FBI not ask for and demand Huma Abedin's uh, personal email accounts as well as her How did they devices? agree to I mean, destroy this is, this evidence is, of other people? How did they, who destroys evidence in a case? By the way, that's called obstruction of justice if anybody else did it. Sean, here's what needs to happen. Tonight, a grand jury needs to be impaneled, number one. Number two, a special prosecutor needs to be appointed immediately. Number three, James Comey, Loretta Lynch, and deputy of the director of the FBI, McCabe, need to not be involved in this process. I mean, a lot of people are praising James Comey because he opened it up. Let's cut the nonsense. This, was a, this a whole thing is ridiculous. And I'll tell you something, and you know this, Sean, I've been critical of where I thought Donald Trump was off point and off message, but this it goes beyond the politics. Doug will address that. This goes to the heart of our constitutional republic. And you don't do this in the United States of America. So if they reopened it, whether it's WikiLeaks, whether it's Huma Abedin, it has to be really significant. And I think 11 days out, even though the FBI director is saying we're just looking at it, for them to do this, it has to be big. Doug? Period. Look, Hillary's going to be elected. She's been under criminal investigation by the FBI for the bulk of the campaign. And, you know, she's had a steady lead. It's 11 days out. And she, oh, wait, wait, wait. she may get elected. Yeah. But if crimes are committed, maybe before she gets into office, she's going to be indicted. Maybe while she's in office, she's going to be indicted. What does Barack Hussein Obama give her a pardon as he leaves office? He can. He could. Sure. That's right. Could all, she give herself he a could. pardon? All of that could happen. He but could. right now, really? about the politics. Is that what you want? Is that what want you want elected. for your country? I want her is elected. Is that what, is she, wait a minute. Don't waste your time. She's not going to get elected. Yes, she it's is. It's the independents right now who are going to say, I have Clinton fatigue. I am so sick and tired of all of these scandals with the Clintons. Wherever they go, there's dirt. They are a cesspool of corruptibles. Everybody Can around I just, them let, is Let me point to some crimes. basic things. Let me go to, let me ask you this. Trey Gowdy got James Comey to admit crimes. 
before his committee. But now, yep. wait a minute. But it they, didn't affect so the polls, we've got collusion, Sean. WikiLeaks revealed between the campaign of Hillary, the Justice Department, the State it's Department, and the White there. House. That's why I say there's more to And the president this, lied, Sean. too. There is more to this. The FBI, it's not somebody come in out Washington days. is saying, you know what? But you don't do this, Doug, we're going to revolt. This is a case that there's demands a, a grand a jury, a subpoena, a search warrant. We're not going to get a grand jury. We're not going to get a special jury. Absolutely. We're not. Yeah, I think we're on the precipice of a constitutional crisis if a grand jury is not impaneled and this is not handled within correctly within our judicial system. We are at a I agree with you. of a constitutional what crisis. Did, what did you period. think, Jay, of Comey? Remember, we, we watched Comey 13 yeah. of the 15 minutes. I'm saying, oh my, he's going to pull yeah, right. the trigger. He's going he's gonna to go forward with a, with a recommendation yeah. to the Justice Department to indict her. Uh, he pulls back yeah. at the end. Then he gets nailed by Trey Gowdy in committee, and Trey Gowdy yeah. gets him to admit, yeah, she committed a number of crimes and lied a number of times. Now we find out even, even more about all of this. Yeah. And then we got Terry McAuliffe, gets money from Hillary, raises for a pack, gives to the guy that's in charge with uh, the investigation. This is not a banana republic, Jay. We are a no, constitutional is, republic. Right. The rule of law right. should matter. There shouldn't be two sets of law for yep. everybody watching this show and Hillary Clinton. Right. And that's what it seems yeah, to be. So, so Ben Franklin famously said, it's a constitutional republic, madam, if you can keep it, when he was asked what kind of government we have. The question that I think the American public is asking themselves tonight is, are we going to be a constitutional republic? Because at the end of the day, Sean, what James Comey did today by reopening it, which some on the right are praising as a did great thing. Did he do it to save his own ass and reputation? Sean, That's of what course. I want to know. Of course. Of course. This isn't of about, course. This isn't about Jim disclosure. Comey standing yes, up and saying, I am here as a no. champion of justice. Wait, this is no, no, a question. Right. Is, it about him is it because WikiLeaks is, was going to expose yes, the fraud? He has yes, to explain. You got it. He owes it to us to explain. Why and the FBI has got the information too. Why not have too. a special prosecutor? Would you be against that? I would be against it now until Why? he explains what he's doing. He can. He's he in the can. middle he's of the middle of the middle. He's got he's right. to he's get out of it. Maybe it's not a grand jury. jury. So does look at the Lynch. FBI. And Bill Clinton needs to stop getting on. What? No, a special prosecutor to look at the behavior of the FBI. It's outrageous. And the reality is that the first FBI investigation was a sham. You don't interview somebody on a Saturday and put out a complete report on a Tuesday unless the report was written before you interviewed her. Mr. Mayor, let me ask you very specific as we keep those laws up there. You are 18 U.S.C. 1924, unauthorized removal and retention of classified well, documents. She did it. Comey admits she did it. She did it. That's a crime. Absolutely. Okay. Gathering, transmitting, or losing information, defense information. That's 18 U.S.C. 793. Did that too. Okay. By the way, imprisonment, 10 years and or $250,000 fine. Concealment, removal, mutilation <laughs> generally, 18 U.S.C. Mutilation? 2071. Yeah, mutilation, be, yeah, bleach, hammer. bleach, bleach, hammer, mutilation. Acid. That's mutilation. Okay. Right. Destruction, alteration, falsification of records in federal investigations. Yeah. Well, she did that too. Uh, one, she only used one. 13. She did this for convenience, there, but she had, I thought it was 14. Are you sure? I thought it was 14. I, well, My recollection is 14. Well, I, I remember 13. 13. Let's say 14. But they busted it with a hammer. But they, they took Sean, acid to wash it. How can clean. they all be missing? They're, They're all missing. They're all gone. What about it's hard this? to get rid of 14 or 13 cell phones. I have a friend of mine who's a special agent in the FBI. I had a long conversation with him. He said, every fellow agent is disgusted with the way James Comey has handled this, and here's what we also have discovered, that the guy, Andrew McCabe, who was promoted FBI deputy director, who supervised this particular investigation, that Governor Terry McAuliffe, one of the closest allies of the Yeah, government, also the guy who was selling the Lincoln bedroom. Right, that's uh, a guy. You know, a decade, yeah. a decade and a half ago. Through his PAC Common Good, which Hillary raised money for, contributed, this is, uh, again, a total now, of up to six hundred and seventy five thousand dollars to her long shot congressional bid most <laughs> congressional bids don't spend six hundred and seventy five grand that's just one donation and how could he possibly well, investigate with a conflict of interest like that well i get two stories out of the fbi okay, okay. one story is this came from the wiener sex tapes and it's about uma Abedin and did she send classified information to Wiener. If she did, by the way, that would be a clear-out crime, 
Let's see if she gets prosecuted. Let me put up on the screen as you talk, by the way. You have identified on this program 16, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, I think that about a year ago. Yeah, this is what we've been showing you. These are the very specific things that you said back in the day ought to be investigated. These are real felonies, real crime. People yeah. have really have gone to jail for all of these statutes. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the reality is that the report that Comey gave to us before he came to the conclusion that she shouldn't be prosecuted was a report that any prosecutor would have taken and taken before a grand jury probably got an indictment and the evidence of intent is overwhelming the best evidence of intent are two things false exculpatory statements well she made at least a dozen of those and you just showed them the second best evidence of intent is destruction of evidence well, they were destroying evidence all over well, the that's place. That's the intent to commit a crime. Well, that's Each how, bit is intent to how, commit a crime. That's how I proved intent in the hundreds of cases that I prosecuted. I, I